Hi friends, hello, hello, and welcome to lesson three of week two. This week, what are we talking about friends? Empathy, 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 empathy. We are talking about empathy for several reasons. Now, your class connection captain, raise your hand. Who are you? Find that person. Can you just give them a couple snaps just for being the class connection captain this week? Oh, you can tell them thank you in sign language. You can just wave to them and just give them a thumbs up. It is hard sometimes being the, the leader in the classroom. So next week, you're gonna remember next week, you're gonna pick a new class connection captain. Is it gonna be you? I hope so. We have lots of weeks to get through, so I think everybody might get a chance to do it. I hope you do. I hope you can show those character skills that prove that you can be a class connection captain. All right, back to empathy and why we are talking about empathy, even in kindergarten. Yes, even kindergartners need to learn about empathy. Now, what we're going to do today is talk we're going to pause in just a second, but we're going to you're going to give your class connection captain reasons why you think we're talking about empathy today and yesterday and the day before. Okay, so what we're going to do is pause now, Clash Connection Captain, start watching for those good, respectful students that are raising their hand or putting their thumbs up, however you call on each other, and pause here and list the reasons why we are talking about empathy this week. All right, I hope you paused the tape and I hope you came back. If you didn't, you're not even hearing my voice. So I'm so glad that you are back with me and hearing my voice right now. All right, so what were some of the reasons we came up with that we were talking about empathy, about feeling the feelings of others, about putting ourselves in somebody else's position or, or putting ourselves in somebody else's shoes, which you don't want to do. You don't want to wear anybody else's shoes. But that's the expression walk a mile in my shoes so you know what I feel like every day. Each one of us, kindergarten through fifth grade, we walk into the building in our own shoes that came from our own houses that we don't know what it's like at each other's houses because we all come from different places. That's why it's important to understand and give each other grace throughout the day because we don't know. We don't know anybody else's situation. So another reason we are talking about empathy is because did you know that knowing empathy and showing empathy and understanding what it is, understanding others, prevents bullying? It sure does, you guys. Oh, man. Just knowing when you can identify and recognize the feelings not only that you have, sadness and anger and frustration, loneliness, when you can identify those feelings in yourself, you can identify those feelings in other people. When you can identify those feelings in other people, you can start to understand where they're coming from. Oh man, when you know somebody cares, when you can start to show empathy to others, that means you are showing that you care about other people. Do you care about other people? Some of you might say, no, that's okay. We can't make you care about other people. We absolutely can't. But we hope you do, because it certainly makes our school a better place to be when we care about each other and show empathy. So now what's the challenge for the week? The challenge is always to go beyond our building, to go beyond our school walls. Because we don't want to just show empathy here and then when, as we leave this place, totally ignore people's feelings, right? We want to be able to show empathy at school, at home, out in the community. How do you do that? Have you ever brought uh, cans of food to a food shelf? Have you ever felt hungry before? You know what it feels like to feel hungry and you don't want somebody else to feel that feeling. You can help by being empathetic and bringing food to a food shelf. Oh gosh, have you ever donated clothes to a Goodwill? That you have slightly worn clothes and you bring so somebody else can buy them at a cheaper price? That's showing empathy. That is just so awesome, you guys. That's Those are just two ways you can show empathy out in the community. How in your neighborhood can you show empathy? Do you have an older, uh, an older senior citizen maybe that lives in your neighborhood that you can help with their lawn, picking up leaves or um, just helping them out or visiting them and showing empathy so they're not so lonely? 
oh, there are so many ways, friends, that you can show empathy. Are you sick of me saying the word empathy? <laughs> I get it. I get it. So to honor your feelings, I won't say it again, but I hope you go show that word out in the community, in your home, and in our building. All of those things are so important. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for being a part of morning meetings with Miss Allen and making our school awesome. See you guys later.